Hey everyone, I'm here with Aya again. Woohoo! <laughs> and we've actually already been talking for like three hours because we had a lot to catch up on <laughs> and we're just having fun. Um, but I'm actually really like, I'm really excited to collaborate with you always, but um, to like share some of your work that you're going to be bringing through into the world that you've been working on for ages that I am just like keen to ask you a few questions like about shadow work and a few things you have in your program. But basically you guys, in May through to July, she's gonna be launching a program. Do you wanna speak a little bit about it? I know I'm putting you on the spot, like go, but just like <laughs> a few, yeah. I don't know, an introduction to this work that you, cause you've been working on this for ages and it's like a big, you know, it's your baby. <laughs> I just, yes, thank you. Thank you so much for having me again. It's um, been so amazing to work with you and your program, like working with you has really helped me really birth this, this program that I've been <laughs> just stating for quite a while. Yeah, it feels like years um, in the making, but yeah, so it's a three month program. Um, essentially, uh, it's a soul realignment. Like I do a modality, both uh, Bridget and I do a modality called soul realignment. So that's kind of like the North star that we start off with to learn who you are at soul level and to address or discover, identify any of the karmic blocks that are in, uh, not in alignment, you know, that are preventing you from, from being and living, uh, your divine soul blueprint essentially. So that we start with that and then there's six modules. You can read all about it on um, my website. It's like super detailed so you can see the path, but <clears throat> essentially it's the soul realignment, uh, addressing the karmic blocks, uh, going deep into the shadow. Cause essentially like the ways that these negatively uh, or the negative karmic patterns, the they're happening because we're not necessarily like aware of it. And that's essentially shadow work, right? It's it's literally just in the conscious. And yeah, like just having in my own life, you know, having um, support in doing this work has been just so life-changing. Like me stepping into to holding this container is like everything I've ever wanted to do. So yeah. Um, that's what I want to do for, for the people that I work with is, is to like hold the, the container, hold the space and, and shine the light, you know, like shine the light on what you may not be seeing and, and hold you accountable and like support you in, in integrating those shadow aspects and doing that, that really deep transmutational work of, yeah, it's not easy, <laughs> you know, it's really not easy. And, um, but yeah, those, shadow work inner child work and uh integration and um and then we move into the you're gonna yeah <laughs> we're gonna talk about the seventh dimensional um uh, manifesting blueprint which is like how your soul is designed to manifest mm -hmm. so everything like the whole point of this program is really to like come back to who you truly are and to alchemize any of the blocks and and heal any I mean you know take the first steps in in this process right because it's a never-ending journey and not to say that like you're doing this program like you're just gonna be like 100% healed I feel like we're as souls here like we're always going to be moving through evolutionary growth phases but yeah I just um would love to support whoever feels called to embody embody their their divine soul blueprint and mm -hmm. so the last two modules is really like yeah essentially learning how you manifest and using like your external like your relationships and mm -hmm. whatnot to mirror back to you like how you're doing that and and yeah just using like life as as a as a way to mm -hmm to give you feedback essentially and and to know how how to like have a roadmap essentially that's the download that I got like just create the roadmap of 
of how to do this work essentially. But you, you, you can read all about it on, on the website. Hopefully I'm doing a good job of explaining, yeah. but yeah, it's, it's kind of packed. It's a lot in, in just six um, modules or, or codes, so to speak. And um, there's going to be a few calls a month and yeah, just really. Mm. Up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's like, it's one-on-one -on -one though. Right. And then you'll do the group call once a month. So it's like two sessions, one-on-one -on -one a month, plus a group call, which is like amazing mm -hmm. structure. And I just have to say, we've been talking for like, like I said, like three hours already. And like, I was really gifted at working in that relational space one-on-one -on -one because she has pointed out to me <laughs> like several things that I'm like, fuck, like that I, that, you know, cause she, she just, she just gets the message and she passes it through and it's like, wow. Um, you know, and it's been really helpful even just talking to you, <laughs> which is funny. Um, and yeah, so the soul realignment stuff like that is and it's interesting because it's kind of the depth of what that can offer you is like so deep like I you pointed out to me that my second energy center which is my sacral chakra divine manifestation like I need to get that flowing again and it's like this is stuff that I know guys like mm -hmm. I studied this course in like 2020 and it's like I've like really sat with like the meaning of soul gifts and the energy centers and like how to work with them but it's like really really putting that into practice is like you said it's a lifelong thing and it's like well we always have these shadowy things we can fall into like whether it's in action or you know for me it's going into my mind and forgetting my body and like stuff like that oh mm. it's so deep i love it um <laughs> do you and you know like yeah just to have like one session is powerful but i find that like the, these containers of like however many weeks or months of really having this intention and this um this north star of like where we're where we're headed mm -hmm. and having someone hold you to that like doing that work with you it's just it like you quantum leap and that's why i feel like it's so much more transformational to to have accountability you know have support and yeah just do it with someone you don't have to do it alone i i tried doing it alone for too long and i wish i didn't but, mm. but yeah that's especially hard. having like someone like you who like reads shadow like you're really good at seeing the shadow and just being like hey here it is um but for you like shadow like i i think it's like shadow work maybe like we could all articulate it in our own way but like what is it me or maybe not so much what does shadow work mean to you but like what has it meant for your life like what implications has it had on your life kind of yeah oh my gosh I was just reflecting on this recently how life-changing shadow work was mm -hmm. like because with the kundalini awakening that I experienced like I couldn't not do it like that's who I feel called to work with by the way like whoever's out there who's li uh, re uh, listening to this if you're going through something similar to Kundalini Awakening, I feel like my medicine, my like transmission is specifically coded for those going through Kundalini Awakening, especially, but not, you know, limited to that. But um, yeah, when I experienced that, like literally, like I could not avoid looking, like I had to do the shadow work, right? It was like in my face and, and looking back, like I see how unconscious I was, how like all these shadow aspects of me that were so unintegrated were like totally controlling the expression you know like my whole being was was like totally unconsciously playing out like I was so dissociated and I don't even know how to describe it like just so disconnected and all my wounds you know like just living from from that place is so disempowering and like you just wonder why you keep creating these experiences and and it's just it's agonizing right but mm -hmm. but in the shadow like lies our power and our gifts too right like for me for example you you can disown like your gifts and your your power right and that's actually because who you are like as a full being right like when you're in where like when you're really authentically who you are that's embracing all aspects of you right and when you do that like that's when you you're in 
alignment you're congruent and you can act from that place of of, of centeredness and power right so so yeah it's essentially like integrating reintegrating all aspects that you've disowned or denied and and also seeing like this concept called matching pictures uh, that I'll go into um into the work into the in the program but yeah just seeing like how things light up in your field when when someone triggers you it's essentially a trigger but it goes beyond just a trigger but yeah uh just working with <laughs> all of that like energies that aren't even yours that like have been in your field for so long because we we inherit things we have things from past lives we you know it's just there's just a lot of stuff in our field that we can we can just let go of and and continuously practice to like return to authenticity like, like that's just the the goal the the name of the game is like how do we get back to authentic and that's where everything I feel like in our in our center is is where the magic happens <laughs> wow. yeah I hope I answered your question yeah you did and there's like I feel like it's also like you said like the shadow can hold such gifts as well like from going into that space and what can like really be like unfolding in that space is something completely it's so it's like know thyself right it's like all those blind spots around and then when we know it we're like oh shit and we see it and like even if we know about it and then we catch ourselves acting it out in the moment it's like a new level of understanding and like ah <laughs> I Never think- end. it's so cool like seeing more and more like as you as you journey like mm-hmm. you're perspective gets so big and you can hold like the polarity of this experience right the the spectrum of the paradox of like yes and or both and um Mm -hmm. and and yeah not be not fall victim of like you know that anymore oh yeah yeah that makes sense as well um it's a journey though it's definitely a journey yeah it is and the other thing I like what you said you were like using you said something like you'll use like life uh, to inform the shadow work because I feel like shadow work is something that it shows up in the living moment right yeah moment moment. that's the integration that's where everything happens it's the work Mm -hmm. if you're on this path if you're like listening to Bridget's YouTube channel you know that like you're here for this like intuitively like your soul here is here to do that work of of being human you know we're not trying to ascend out of the body we're here to like really learn how to in the day-to-day manage our own energy manage like master our authenticity and like that's our purpose that's actually our purpose is just to be our truest versions of who we are (laughs) like just to be this amazing human being (laughs) that you are and yeah Mm. I think I think that's why I feel you and I like are so similar I feel in this in this mission of like helping humans like especially star seeds because we feel so you know like not at home here sometimes right it's to like really help these people be at home here be at home in the body and like break down these barriers of of separation and how can we like Mm -hmm. how can we thrive here Mm -hmm. how can we like really create the abundance that we all are praying and hoping for but Mm -hmm. actually require us to do the work and make the choices Mm -hmm. and take the action to manifest that dream that you are absolutely capable of you are the powerful creator you have everything that you need even if it doesn't feel like that like Mm -hmm. just know that the suffering that you're going through all the suffering is is actually like a gift it's it's grace Mm -hmm. and like a blessing in disguise as cliche as it sounds really is though like that it's the it's the the evolutionary force right of of Mm -hmm. breakthrough and Mm -hmm. and it will come just keep going yeah oh definitely we're very familiar with that dark night void energy we live we live in that but 
it's mm-hmm. actually a gift. Mm-hmm. Like the suffering is a gift. And I feel like recently, you know, in the past month, especially, I've been really experiencing like what that means. And I think it's something you have to feel right. You have to experience it to understand because hearing someone say that it can be triggering or it can be comforting depending on your state of mind. Right. And you can kind of be like, great, this is, or it can be like, right. But I (laughs) was doing this like spontaneous channeling for someone dear to me and they, you know, they have this great resentment towards their family and their, you know, for good reasons. Right. And it was like, it was all stored in their root chakra and the perspective that I was getting like was so from the soul, like it was so, it was honoring of the human experience that we're having here, but it was combining the soul's perspective, looking down on that life and those experiences. And, and like you said, the actual gift of those experiences and, and not like the gift of what they offer you in terms of transformation and to, to, to actually live your mission. Like your mission isn't to have this like smooth ride, like your soul intended on having like your soul chose your family why like find out do the work and and let it blossom into something that's a gift and it's so and and it's not about dishonoring the human experience of the pain it's not about that but it's about holding both because i see i think the, the the biggest struggle we can have is either only seeing it from soul perspective and therefore bypassing the pain of like that is real and that that is also informing the like lesson or only seeing it from the human perspective and bypassing the soul's choice to incarnate to that family or whatever else and it's like it's not one or the other it's both and they 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 the combination of those two is what makes sense and that's shadow work really (laughs) exactly exactly (laughs) you said it better than me (laughs) well it's like i've been thinking about it so much because it's so easy to like, I think the thing for me that drives the the want to do the shadow work is like, I, when I have those breakthroughs from the, the state of being in pain or suffering into peace, it's like, I have the gratitude, like you said, to feel grateful for that experience of the suffering. And it's like, it's when you're in it and you're resisting it, like, <laughs> it's so easy to do, then I feel like I'm missing something. Like I'm missing out on like, like the physical experience it's so easy for me and i'm sure it's similar for other people to get like stuck in the density and the Mm -hmm. suffering and the patterns and it's like why do i have to keep replaying this fucking loop of emotional turmoil right but then it's like we're actually given like the physical experience is so such a blessing and it's like it's such a beautiful thing that we get to wake up to the same reality every day like we actually get to build something in one place like or we get to change that if we want we get to eat food we get to experience pleasure or take this thing or not take this you know what i mean like it's like the infinite possibilities are it's like a blessing and a curse right like you get to choose but like oh my gosh so many choices (laughs) true it's like it makes you want to just use your time right because it's like I want to be able to do all these things so yeah I think the shadow work is super important to it's like even the subconscious purging right because then it's like you can unify the mind and move forward yeah and use the power that you have like we were talking in our talk about like and being an empath and like I'm sure a lot of people identify with that even if you don't identify with that you might still be one <laughs> and it's like <laughs> um <laughs> the like the empath it, it embodies the perfect like experience of the duality like it is a blessing and a curse like you said like it's both and it's sort of I forgot what I was going to say about that but yeah <laughs> I brain went. I know, yeah we're gonna go into to that but I don't remember exactly what we're going to talk about <laughs> that's so funny which is both <laughs> I mean I've been, we've been talking for for a while so yeah we have like this is yeah probably our fourth hour of talking yeah um so okay so coming back to my notes um <laughs> what is the golden shadow because that's something you write in your website and I'm like curious what your yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, totally. Um, It's essentially what we touched on already, um, but it's pretty much 
the light side of the of the shadow because everyone talks about like or or kind of has this like um preconceived notion of the shadow being like you know all dark and like things that we don't want to see but uh like we said earlier or like um yeah the the shadow contains your power your gifts and your genius and and in that like there's so much there's so much gold there right like the gold like there's an a, an aspect of the shadow when you totally embrace like layer and layer right like you you embrace one aspect and you you feel this freedom this like liberation of of like reintegrating that and then that becomes part of that uh beautiful expression of your gifts right and so just want to shine the light on the aspect of the shadow that is light you know and and when you do that like when you reintegrate it it ceases to be the shadow right and we re we redefine what that what that like what that word even or what it is like that no longer is the shadow right like the shadow is usually what's unconscious so when you shine the light on it 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 becomes conscious but anyway that's not really the golden shadow is just essentially the part of the part of us that we've disowned where where it contains what we actually want to embody to live out our soul mission it's like the things that we we resist the most sometimes I feel like is or is like the hardest thing for us to do the thing that brings us the most discomfort because we resist it so much or like you know it's it's kind of like that Pluto stuff that you talk about that it feels so accurate like what is in our gift is what's going to be hardest for us right and so in doing the shadow work and and healing um and integration you open yourself up to expressing those gifts without without the blocks you know because some a lot of us are just you know we're working through what it takes the initiations right the initiation mm. to to hold that frequency of what you want to manifest because yes. we, we do have to work towards it right like we can't just jump from one to like like for example like w- winning the lottery right like having all that abundance like people have a hard time like holding that that frequency because it's not something that they're used to and then sabotage it right like just root like like lose all the money somehow. That's just an example that comes to me right now, but like really like anchoring in and, and integrating each quantum leap or each like level up is so, is so necessary to like, and then, and then it's crazy. Like you'll see how much you've grown too, like over, over that time. And then, yeah, it's just, it's amazing. It's about the journey, you know. I know it's it's like every, everyone says that, but really, that's why they say it, right? Because it, it's the truth. It's the experience. It's the joy of this experience. And yeah, your second gift, joy of the man, the 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 physical plane. You know it. Oh wow! And I feel like what I heard in what you said then was like sometimes we can see a barrier in front of us as being. T- a sign that we're not meant to do it but actually like the barrier could be the opening to your gift like that's people will be surprised but like my pluto placement means that one of my deepest fears is actually creative self-expression and what do i do mm-hmm. i have a youtube channel where i creatively self-express myself in ways that a lot of people think is really embarrassing or weird because it's light language right and like if you don't get light language it's like what the fuck is going oh, on man. here <laughs> So it's like, it's so funny because people would assume, oh, well, if she can do that, then she must just be confident in that area and it's not a problem for her. And it's It's like- It's natural because it's their gift, but actually it's not natural to express our divine soul blueprint. It's actually so not easy sometimes. And that's why it's like, whoa, like what? Are you sure this is right? (laughs) Like, yeah. And that's the shadow. It's like, it's not about using that fear as- it's like false evidence appearing real right it's like it's not about using that as like being like oh well this is a closed door i'm not going to open that because it's scary it's like Mm -hmm. inside your greatest fear this is the pluto teaching of actually it's from tom jacobs i'll link him in the description i'll remember to because he has really interesting uh pluto teachings that i love but Mm -hmm. um inside of your deepest fear is also your deepest gift and it's like it's like every you could look at it from your pluto you could look at it from you know 
your soul realignment you can look at it from any angle and it remains true and it's sort of like that's the shadow it's like it's like peeling back the illusions that keep you from accessing that gift and yeah it's like when you do something meaningful which is going to be what you're coded to do your 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 soul mission it is not with the absence of fear at all like (laughs) ever (laughs) we need to drill i think we really need to like drill this in like that's so important. It, it's mm-hmm. not in the absence of fear. It's not like we're never going to get triggered when like we, we reach this. Mm-hmm. We're just talking. We started our conversation talking about how like, are we ever going to get to the point like we both mm-hmm. or I thought that I needed to get to the point where like, oh, I'm enlightened and like I'm never triggered and then I can do my work. And it's so not the case. So not the case. Uh, but sorry, I interrupted you. Go no, ahead. No, that's so true. <laughs> It's, yeah. it's so easy to like, yeah, see, see the, 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 the barrier is like a closed door when it's like, actually it's the thing to open. Like, yeah. And th- that's, that's like something you've really like, like you're really good at seeing the blind spots and just like pulling it through in this like really effortless way. Like you did with me in this, like just talking as a friend, like, I'm just like, Oh, my mind's blown. Like <laughs> you just pointed this thing out to me like no one else has. Holy shit. Thank you. Um, so it's like you just are gifted. Like I before we started, I was like, I as the shadow queen, like I don't know anyone who like like you dwell in this arena. Like you are so comfortable with like the pain as well, which is like so unique. But you also like you don't stay there. Like you're so yeah, you effortlessly kind of like flow through those spaces, which is why you're really good at at being a guide for the shadow work because I think the other thing with shadow work is like what makes your work really meaningful is that it can be really challenging to pierce through those illusions on your own because it's so easy to get your intuition mixed up and think well if I feel anxious about you know putting my work out into the world maybe that's a sign that I'm not aligned or that I shouldn't do it and it's like well we need to examine what is true here and use the discernment to find out what's the shadow and what's really your soul's yearning (laughs) totally Totally. Mm. yes thank you so much for your your reflections I'm like blushing (laughs) (laughs) but yeah you're you're so right like it's and I feel like that's I'm just so grateful I I say this to Bridget every freaking time like how grateful I am to be able to receive her medicine like we all have such beautiful gifts to share with the with each other we all have the puzzle pieces and we're all here to help each other in our own unique ways and yeah. you helping me like oh, thank you for allowing me to receive you and thank you for receiving me like truly it's mm-hmm. it's so fulfilling so mm-hmm. fulfilling to live out what we're here to do you know and and we're doing it and I'm just so damn proud of us for fucking <laughs> sorry <laughs> doing this (laughs) we're doing it and I'm just amazed yeah you're amazing because it's not it's not without the questioning and like it's not without the asking those big questions and like facing that fear and 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 being triggered sometimes you know by like people's comments or whatever else comes at you to face that day you know but it's sort of like I know that there are a lot of people who are really good and maybe you know maybe it's just the nature of social media it's really easy to look at something and think oh well that must be perfect or that person might must just be like perfectly you know coded for Mm -hmm. that thing and it's like we live on earth and for the meantime we're experiencing you know the duality thing right (laughs) it's always going to be both you know (laughs) yes and you have no idea like what they went through to embody what they're what they're embodying like you have no idea the journey that they like oh my gosh we all go through oh yeah heaps of heaps of initiatory like create like we're in some crazy times right now like you're all very aware of the world happenings and yeah it's just I think more and more imperative for all of us to stay in our sovereignty and to learn tools of how to not get sucked into the collective drama you know actually that's such a good point like what is going on in the world right now 
Mm. is a reflection of the shadow work that we have to do. Like we actually have to do it now. Like, <laughs> oh my gosh, oh, this is it, yeah. We can't like look outside for someone to save us. Like the spiritual vibe, like, sorry, I don't, I don't even like using that word much. I don't know. I'm not trying to like, I, I mean, I, I guess I am calling it out. I am calling it out. Like you can't, you just can't. And it's going to get harder and harder and harder as we go through this evolution, this ascension um, of, you know, just the evolution of our, of our species <laughs> and our, yeah doing the individual work is like so imperative for how it impacts the collective like that is totally. all good. like we need to do that yeah um and okay so last scheduled question that i have for you is about the seventh dimensional manifesting blueprint which from what i've heard you kind of talking about it already it seems like it's like a life hack of how to get into flow state like designed for your own soul you know like flow state where it's like easeful and like that kind of thing totally. Can you explain that? It, yeah, it um, it would. I I believe it would create that as as a side effect or as a as like if you if you know how your blueprint. So there's seven comparatives essentially, and they give you a framework of in what ways do you manifest according to your soul. So you have essentially markers. <laughs> Not to go into like the technical details, but essentially like in what environments, in what process, like how, like how do you best do it? So you essentially manipulate your environment or your circumstance to, to be in that, in that like, or it's cause they're all different comparatives. So like, it's essentially seeing it from different lenses of how your soul prefers to to manifest hopefully that's not too like ambiguous but so but, is it about, like yeah. choosing the right environments for you like like for me I know like I'm not coded to write a book like that's just not in me so it's like if yeah. I tried to write a book I would just come up against a million like resistances from the universe and myself so is it about yeah. like choosing the environment or like knowing like the unique ways that you work with your own do you know what I'm trying well, to so so yeah, so soul realignment, the first part that we start off with, um, that's more of like how you're coded and what, like how to express it. And then the manifesting is more for, I'll, I'll just give an example. I think that's the best way. Mm -hmm. But for example, like there's the first comparative is um, it's either your similarity or contrast. Mm -hmm. And, and essentially like, are you like, do you look for, for me, I'm similarity, right? So I, I always see the ways that people are doing things that I, I see like, oh, it's similar to what I want to do, right? So for example, like you did your program and I'm like, oh my God, there's so many similarities to like what I want to do, but it's not like copying at all. It's just like seeing and getting like um, feedback from your environment of like what, how you see yourself manifesting things and letting that be a guide to like, creating your own thing, like getting things that are similar to you. And on the other contra uh, on the other spectrum, it's like contrast is like seeing how things people do things and like, that's not how you want to do it. And so there's, yeah, it's, it's really interesting. So, so yeah, it's kind of technical in a way, but it gives a really nice framework of um, how you can best manifest and have yeah have like guidance essentially because like we said earlier like there's so many choices that we can feel like inertia right like like just the paralyzed from the choice and so you, having a framework of like yeah how your soul would prefer like mm -hmm. to <laughs> to go about it like that's that's a whole goal like how mm -hmm. do we manifest that in in this in this uh in this plane of existence yes yes which makes so much sense and i again the value of like even just the basics of like knowing your soul gifts which is what mm. you read and like the energy centers like that is like the biggest life hack <laughs> it's like simple but it's like it's so deep it's found when you really yeah. embody or uh, embrace and like implement it yeah yeah it really is and knowing like 
it's kind of like a guide to your shadow as well in a way like you know like like everything is that (laughs) literally everything is that because it has the negative and positive polarity right when you know you're in the negative you know that you're in more of a shadow like frequency of blocking yourself right like how are you blocking yourself from from this gift from the life force yeah exactly exactly wow yeah and so you're also going to do light language or energy healing as well as like the structure you're like packing it like this is amazing (laughs) that's the thing yeah like so it was so like cool for me to um receive my manifesting blueprint because like the ways that I had been doing things like it's just it was affir- affirming and then mm-hmm. I could like really zero in on the way that like I can really manifest because I saw how like different um, comparatives like played out and and how I pull from like the similarities and then I like innovate so doing the one-on-one sessions which is what I really feel called to do like one-on-one work but then also like opening it up for like the group container of um, community and like Q&A and yeah it's it's just so cool I, I I really love it and I hope that um it's it's uh it works out really it well for everyone <laughs> involved yeah I have so much faith um, and trust but yeah I just I hope for this to be such a like empowering mm-hmm. and and hopefully life-changing experience where you feel mm-hmm. ready to like take your next steps towards mm-hmm. the clients I mean like yeah, <laughs> yeah. take those yeah so if people are interested what like what's the process do they apply or do they just express interest or get in contact yeah. with you yeah totally so um on my website that will link um mm-hmm. you can read all about it and there's a you can apply because there's just an like a it's not too it's not too long it's just some questions and um to really know like where you're at and and like I said, I don't feel like I'm for everyone. <laughs> I mean, obviously, we're not like no, no one's for everyone. Right. And I feel specifically called for to work with people who are like really there and like ready to do that work because it's really deep work. And mm-hmm. especially people going through like a similar like experience of the Kundalini awakening or. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, so so the questions are just to help me to and and you actually to see where you're at because these are questions that I would encourage you to ask yourself anyway and um, to illuminate where you want to go and um yeah Mm. yeah (laughs) yeah so you can apply and then I'll get back to you with um we can schedule a call and and feel it out Mm -hmm. yeah so three months of immersion in the work yeah I'm so excited oh I'm so excited Uh, amazing (laughs) I'm really I'm really curious now about this seventh dimensional manifesting blueprint there's like you have so much to offer as well I'm sure like a lot of different things will bleed into it because like you were reading my gene keys today and I was like my mind was friggin blown I was like oh my god (laughs) and I want to say like every person is going to be so unique so like if if like um intuitively I feel called to do like gene keys or like any other mentality that I have it's all going to be like super tailored to you and yeah so it'll be like the conscious coaching like the 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 talking and um shadow work and integration but also I'll be doing a lot of like the healing like light language and I find that it's a super powerful combination of going going beyond going beyond and um yeah (laughs) and this is like your gift like you're aligned talk about soul realignment like your heart chakra is the healing people like it's just really nice to spend time with you even if you're not overtly healing like I still feel healed in your presence and then you got that third eye we just drop the truth bombs and it's like <laughs> shit, you know and I would encourage like even if you know you're watching this and you've done tons of shadow work I still think you could get a lot out of a program like this like you know there's actually just like so many more levels and layers to go into things like that's what I've been experiencing recently is you know I've done like so much and then it's like the more you go into it the more kind of like you find and 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 know yeah. thyself like it's like know thyself right it's like yeah. holy shit like and, and it, worms. <laughs> it is but it's also like 
such a practice of love like and that's I think your heart gift as well like always guiding people back to that place of love for what's going for that shadow part um which was like a huge breakthrough I had um <laughs> with iron this just this discussion I had a dream I'll show you guys so you understand like how she works a bit I had this wait what did you say I can't even remember how you brought it up but you said something to me like I have to love this part of myself that um that can like that can be really hard on myself about like superficiality which was in my gene keys like so appearance based like um being like really hard about my body image and having distorted like body dysmorphia stuff going on which is like ugh, my whole like a whole shadow thing I'm working with in this lifetime and it's so funny because you said this thing that I hadn't thought about because I have this perception of things in life sometimes where I like want to fight things and you were just like just love that part of you that is like mean to me <laughs> yeah so you know? the key word was like you're you said like I'm still dot 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 and mm -hmm. that's usually like resistance right you're I'm still not like whatever but actually you wanting that to go away or to change is the resistance and perpetuation of that thing that you want to yeah <laughs> to not be there and so the only way truly and it's a lot easier said than done I, I know this but um to really little by little as much as you can um embrace and accept and love this part of you because it's beautiful it's really mm -hmm. like and it deserves your, it, it yourself like a child right yeah. it's that inner child yeah. work that i that i really want to delve into in this work too is holding mm -hmm. space for that inner child like any way that he or she feels is valid mm -hmm. so and and deserving of love because that shadow part that's like acting out this stuff like what's mm -hmm. place like what state of this is what you made me have this revelation about it's like what state of consciousness or state of being does that place have to be in to act like that like right. oh my gosh that's the part that most needs the love of course of course yeah it makes oh. sense <laughs> oh i'm getting chills but yeah it's it's literally like one thing i feel called to say is mm -hmm. you know we kind of touched on this but you know we we can easily demonize dark entities and whatnot and like the negatively polarized you know all the mm -hmm. not light <laughs> not light and seemingly seemingly love stuff or or beings or energies whatever but we were just saying like you know isn't everything source isn't everything part of god and mm -hmm. like we're all we all stem from that and it's just distorted light right and and it's those parts that need our love the most in order to not continue to distort even further and and i my personal like viewpoint is that they actually signed up to play that role mm -hmm. you know some of these some of these beings and entities they they serve a purpose for this evolution you know that we're going through and we wouldn't have as much of a breakthrough if we didn't have these these polarities I feel it is something that is like lifelong pondering for me like the nature of evil and stuff um but like yeah bring it back to that loving like being in that love vibration is the answer and like that's like it all clicked for me today when you said that because I had this dream where this part of me, like, I didn't realize it was a part of me, but like, where I was like, really resisting this mean, per this mean girl in my dream, right, who was telling me nasty things. <laughs> and then I heard this yesterday, I heard this snippet about lucid dreaming and how if you wake up in a nightmare, like wake up, like if you become conscious in a nightmare, and you realize you're dreaming, our first instinct is to get out of it. But actually, the best thing to do is to stay there and to try to resolve or like his suggestion was to like hug all the being all the players in that in that in that realm right hug them um to make peace and love and then you said that thing to me today about like i'm resisting this part of me and i need to love it and it's like click 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 boom <laughs> you know like it's like oh of course yeah it's the love love is the answer of course <laughs> always a reminder that we we need to come back to over and over yeah 
it seems so, so simple, but it's like if you're in a freaking nightmare, <laughs> <laughs> you need some love as, as like that protection. Yeah. But it, it remains true. I mean, it's the same thing with dealing with, like you said, um, like evil entities, demonic entities. I believe they're definitely real, but if we are in a place of fear towards that, then that fuels them and it creates more of an um, impact on your life. But if you are capable of being, you know, in a vibration of love, and this is how shamans work when they are able to remove demonic entities from people, this is why they can do it because they don't fear them. They, they remain in a place of love, which means they are immune to that. And it's like, oh, wow, of course. Yeah, that's actually the thing. Yeah, because like when you're fearing or like wanting like, you know, and you're there, it's essentially they're doing what they're coded to do. And so if you feed into what they're trying to get from you, which is the fear is those lower vibrations, you're perpetuating that that cycle as well. So what you can do to is just to, to stay in that power and to stay in that knowing that like no nothing can take your power away no 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 one can hurt you without your permission like it's mm -hmm. it's a it's a choice that you make to like give your power away or to like feed into the fear you know mm -hmm. and I know it's yeah I, I and I have so much empathy and 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 like compassion for for people who are afraid you know like we're we're doing the best we can and yeah it's just yeah, it's it's not easy, but it's it's just worth the the effort to oh to do yeah. The, yeah to do the work. And it's like I feel like as well, like what you were saying just then made me think about like when and it's hard because it's like it's a it's an organic process this thing. But like, say you forgive somebody for like hurting you or like you know whatever for acting out a certain role in your life, and you make peace with that that person playing that role for you. It's like, in a way, what I've found is like that soul contract is evaporated. And that person is free to show up for you in a different way if they wish to. So it's like that thing you're saying people choose. And this is a soul perspective. And like I've said, like, you got to hold the human and the soul. It's not about just seeing the soul and like being like, Oh, you chose this thing. It's like, okay, it's more complicated than that. <laughs> but yeah, it's like, it's so deep. But it's yeah. like, uh, yeah, I forgot our saying, but giving people it's yeah, you said the people um, they choose like the and even the negative entities are choosing to play this role, like in a very extreme way, like or people in your life you meet, they, they are showing up for you in a certain way. And it's like yeah. if you resolve the thing in yourself, then that person yeah. can show up for you differently or you'll stop attracting that same person that triggers you in that same place every time. Exactly. Yeah crazy <laughs> when your perception shifts when your list shifts mm -hmm. everything else changes mm -hmm. it's it's all an internal game like you got to turn your mm -hmm. your gaze inward and 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 have have that like as within so so without like have that be be the be the the way that you change your outer experience mm -hmm. not from the outside in it's so true and it it's it's empowering <laughs> that's the thing like coming back bottom line it's empowering it's about, it's about <laughs> empowering yes that's like all I ever want to do is empower you to go go back to your own truth is mm. is the name yeah is the name of the game <laughs> <laughs> ah all right well I'm run, I've run out of water so let's end this here but thank you for coming on to my channel today again talking it's been really fun <laughs> Thank you so much for having me. I love you so much. And I'm so excited to hear you announce your next program. Oh, so yeah. Thanks. Can Can't you wait. feel it in my vibration, guys? I'm so excited. I've got a new project going. <laughs> it's really different to anything, but I'll be talking to you guys about it in like separate videos. This is about Aya. But um, <laughs> so yeah, down in the description box, I'm going to link Aya's website where she has the write-up about everything she's offering and like every single like module thing um and you can get in contact with her through that website link as well that i'll have below and i'll also yeah. link this um pluto astrologer if you guys are interested in where i've why, why i'm so interested in pluto it's because of this astrologer um but again it's the same it's that kind of thing of like 
you're re- like to me it's sort of like you're reading an energy and you can come at it from different lenses like soul realignment or like astrology or but it's all reading the same energy it's all just totally. there yeah. <laughs> it's all tools to come back yeah. here <laughs> they're all helpful though all paths lead home and however Uh, you resonate is perfect perfect. meaningful yeah yeah Yeah. just take take what resonates (laughs) true (laughs) leave the rest all right well much love thank you i i'll see you guys soon